I do believe this is gonna come to an end today. I don't know. I will do my best. Hey, Mikto, how's it going? Alright, let's get our lives and whatnot. One and a half stages remaining, I think. So, there's, there's a good chance this is gonna end tonight. Just, I did not feel like continuing the stage today. Wait, does Wario say it's a me? I thought he just goes, wah! <laughs> That's a missed opportunity. He could have baited me into doing the typical thing I do with Wario. It's too late now. How's it going, Nick? Hope all is well. He probably doesn't. Um, I think he just go. He just says wah. But what I do with the character, he doesn't actually really say oh yes. I think he does in Mario Party, but not that much. It's just something I fabricated to make funny, you know. Like in Mario Kart. <laughs> My voice is a little tired, so I don't want to strain it. But I'll, I'll give you a one. Oh, yes! There you go. up with a bit of a headache and just hasn't gone. Um, I don't have COVID, I checked, but, you know. I've been drinking a lot of water and it, it's gotten better. But definitely a bit of a lazy day. Okay, let's do this. This stage is interesting. I might have to relearn what I was doing yesterday. Appreciate the bits and for the extra hundred as well. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll play a warrior for Christmas and I'll do more of the voice. Shit. I do appreciate that the stage doesn't eat up lives at all and you can just keep retrying. And this whole, like, stage wrapping thing is, is interesting. Damn it, too low. Look, I, I was doing some crazy maneuvers in the stage earlier. Not that this Yoshi transfer thing isn't crazy, but... I did this at the end of, uh, last night, and brain was tired, so could not compute. Today is fine. There's been some really creative stuff in the previous three stages. Probably some of the best mechanics I've seen in the ROM hack so far. Yeah, it's just this stage and then Bowser's castle, and we're done. There was one stage that I completed, but completed by skipping over it, in a sense, and... The reason 
was just because it's shell jumping and I absolutely hate anything to do with shell jumping. And the stage kind of acknowledges that it's a bit... a bit extra difficult for what this rum hack asks of the player, typically, so... They have this thing where you can just get a y bring a Yoshi into the stage and just finish the stage normally. And that's what I did. I, I have no shame in that. I just... never been into those kind of levels, ever. But I did complete the previous stage. The previous stage was like a cooler version of shell jumping. It was, uh... These blue blocks that when you throw a shell into it, it catches the shell. So if the shell has momentum, it'll keep spinning and you can jump off it. And if you throw it upwards into it, you can grab it off the block. So, it's pretty interesting. Ah, oh, Nick, thanks for gifting that sub. Jeez. <laughs> Have you really gifted 75? Man. In total, not none at once. I guess that was from that time in Splunky, eh? Oh no, Twitch is, Twitch is doing... Twitch is doing that thing where it's like, Hey! Money-making opportunity! Did you know that there's, there's, a, there's a hype train on the way? <laughs> I think, uh... The threshold for that has been lowered, so... Why can't the hype train be with something that has happened on stream? And the streamer gets to control it, I don't know. A scam train. You know what, a lot of- I've heard a lot of streamers call that. I've heard quite a few call it the scam train. The boost train is better. Eh, I mean. There's the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but that doesn't mean it's gonna drink. <sighs> it's still a scam. Well, yeah, it's monetization at the end of the day. It's something that Twitch has gone very heavy on these days. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow, because my idea originally was to get up early and play Terraria, but I'm not convinced that's going to happen, the getting up early aspect at least. It just depends if this headache goes away by tomorrow. Slash doesn't become anything else. So I haven't scheduled a stream on YouTube, but that's where it will be. So it might just happen out of nowhere. I think that's the thing I don't like about the scheduling, is you can only schedule one at a time. never done that transfer successfully, but it's, it's something like that. I need to jump and then release him and catch him again. Oh, no, I had it. Oh, I had it. 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 Damn it. I had it. Oh, I, I fucked up. I jumped again. Yeah, it's panic. It's okay. No. It's 
very particular on how you have to jump off Yoshi, otherwise it travels. <sighs> Keep doing it. I'm not sure how much is left of the stage, I haven't checked. But I would say I'm, I'm roughly at the halfway point. Yeah, I, I landed on the platform, but I didn't have Yoshi, so... I'm hoping this isn't gonna take me two hours to finish the rest of the stage. Like, the plan is an hour at worst, and then two hours for Bowser's Castle. That's what I'm... I'm hoping is going to be the stream, but we'll see. Three hours, two stages. That's, uh, yeah, that's great. <sighs> it had momentum. And then I need to... Leap. That jump looks interesting. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to do the next one. It looks like I have to leap over the barricade. But then I have to catch him again. I might have to watch, because there is a movie for this in-game that you can see that shows you how to do everything. So I have been referring to it. I don't know why I keep messing it up. <laughs> this first one I've got down, I can compose myself and make sure Yoshi falls down in a s straight line, but for this one I don't know why. I think I just maybe jump too late and that causes me to go forward a bit more than I'd want to. I'm just looking at the screen. I feel like I have to go over. Right, I'll try going over. Yeah, it, it looks like that. I'm just wondering if I have to catch him again, because that's going to be an interesting... interesting thing to try and catch him as he's got momentum to the right, but we'll see. I was just saying if it wasn't anything else, just...
damn it. You know what I, I figured out? I figured out how to phrase, um, like my tolerance of difficult stages in ROM hacks. I sum it up like this as, I hate stages that punish the player for existing, if that makes sense. So like, let's say you enter the stage and then without you doing anything, the stage kind of puts you in the scenario where you have to do something and or you die instantly. I hate those kind of stages. Versus something like this where... Like, that, is, that isn't unreasonable, right? That's not unreasonable there. And then everything else is... If I'm dying because I, myself, am attempting to do something tricky, then that's easier for me to accept as opposed to stages that kind of just torture you for existing in the stage, if that makes sense. So yeah, I kind of draw the line at that. And then of course the usual, like, if it's something where someone has to explain to me and I can't just use basic intuition and basic controls to achieve the goal and it's using a quirk of the game engine to design a level around it, then nah, I hate that stuff as well. But maybe I maybe he needs more momentum though. I might watch the video. If I can't see Yeah, I don't know. I did make it over, but I think Yoshi didn't have enough momentum. Needs more momentum, he'll... And then I have to land on him again. Okay. Mm. <sighs> that was a good drop, just a little too to the left. enjoying the stage, as difficult as it might be. Crap. I do that transfer so well, but this one I'm just having issues with. Um, 
no, that's... I... What? <laughs> I think I get it, but... Okay, it's not as straightforward. I have to thread the needle, bounce off that thing, and grab Yoshi again. one more attempt at it properly, and then I'll go see the movie. Get a, ref a refresher course. Oh, that was horrible. What? No! What? What do you mean? <laughs> I have to stand further to the right? Oh, come on. <sighs> I got too comfortable. And they they were really good transfers as well. Like, I... Did pretty good jumps. I'm getting the hang of that one. Okay, let me, let, let me go see. Let me go see. I need to go see this. <sighs> I'm getting the hang of it a bit more. Plus it gives me a little mental break from it. I can drink water as I move along the map. I probably should have gone and watched the movie right away when I started. Just to get a reminder. Plus, I guess you get to see what I had to do last time, so... This one wasn't too bad. This one was fun. Okay, this is what we're up to. So good. Oh, 
god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't I don't want to see the rest. So that's the end of it there, is after that, it's it's a double transfer. Wait, why do I have Yoshi? I wasn't in here with Yoshi. Is that a glitch? Because I left- in the movie I had Yoshi, so now I have Yoshi. Yeah, probably. Anyway. Okay, so I guess that's good to know. It's two jumps and then that's it. I'm done. I do like this. This stage doesn't overstay its welcome um, when asking for you to do difficult things. They're just short little segments and then it gives you a checkpoint after each segment, which is really nice. So I do appreciate that quite a bit. Back to it. Imagine if I had gotten that first try after seeing it, that would have been impressive. I would have been very happy about that. Shit, I held B. Nearly, nearly, nearly. That, that's a hard one. That is very hard. I think I, I angled it too much. Okay. Close as I've been. It's not too bad. I'm getting so close, dude. these transfers though now. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Getting the second one more reliably, which I'm very happy about. Yeah, I mean, caught it, but wrong spot. I 
messed it up. <laughs> Just that was like a normal hop off. Hold on, my headset's saying that it's low on battery, but it shouldn't be. I've had this happen before. Um, I need to plug it in. And then magically it's just, oh wait, your battery is full. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. You have no idea how awkward this looks. So, the USB port on this headset, it's not normal. It's typically on these headsets, they're like on the base of the ear cup, if that makes sense. So then it looks like it's just like a, a headphone cable coming down, right? Pretty normal. If you have a wireless headset, you know what I'm talking about. Most of them are like this. This one, on the other hand, you have to remove a cover from the side. And then you plug in the USB cable into the side of the headset. So... I currently have this headset with this USB cable coming out of this, the left ear. It just looks stupid. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine, I'm on my own. But if you could see, you'd be laughing, because I, I look like a dumbass. It's worse than I, when I used to have uh, a Nokia N-Gage as a phone. That was the most awkward phone to talk into. I mean, it was great because I could play games on it, and it was one of the first phones to have MP3 support. But you look like... You look like an idiot. The best way I can describe it is, like, imagine holding a taco shell on the side to your face. Because that was the shape of it. For some reason, your brain turned that into Red Foreman saying it. I can only hope that one day that I'm like that guy, just in terms of being able to lovingly call someone a dumbass. One of my favorite interactions from that 70s show is just... Eric does something dumb that gets Donna angry with him. And so he's talking to his dad and he's like, I don't know dad, all these bad things keep happening to me. I'm just, I feel like I'm just super unlucky. I'm like the unluckiest guy in the world. And then Red turns to him and goes, son, bad things don't happen to you because you're unlucky. They keep happening to you because you're a dumbass. <laughs> oh man. Just, he carried that show. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that 90s show is. That comes out in January on Netflix. I'll be checking it out. I don't think the trailer does it justice because it, it makes it cheesy. But I mean, the original cast will be making an appearance in it, so... We'll see. They're kind of doing the same thing. Which is getting relatively unknown actors to play the kids. Red Foreman is the grumpy adult that all kids find annoying until they grow up and turn into him. He has a mood. 
I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think the kids found red annoying. I think... In some ways they were scared of him, but then in others, like, they kind of appreciated that... He wasn't doing it because he was an angry guy, it was just... His way of caring, I guess. Like, he kind of made sure that they didn't get into trouble. Like, he wasn't doing it for no reason, right? Like... They were being dumbasses, <laughs> and he was calling them out on their shit. He was keeping it real. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how that show plays out, because from a story perspective, it's going to be Eric and Donna's daughter. So I'm curious to see if Red's going to call his grandchild a dumbass, or if he's going to call one of her friends the dumbass. Or just all of them. I don't know. I think it would be hilarious if he's actually kind of nice to her, and then when Eric comes over, he just reverts to the dumbass, but only for him. That would be funny, and he kind of gets just tilted by it. But I don't think he's going to be super nice to her, based on the trailers. Keeps messing with me the screen wrapping. Like my eye just doesn't go to where Mario's going, but rather where he's going to land. I just trust that I'm doing the right thing. I should rewatch that show. It's been a very long time. Seven show was a nice show, even if it was played too much. It wasn't played that much here at all. Um, I, uh, you know, I honestly don't know how I even got into it in the first place because it was on Fox here, which is cable TV, and when it was airing, we didn't have it. So I wouldn't be able to tell you how I got into it, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like, I used to have, um, these TV shows that I would watch when I was eating, and that 70s show was one of them. Um, Seinfeld was another. I know not everyone's into Seinfeld, but... Something me and my dad watched quite a bit. Um, Scrubs. What else? They sent her four to five times a day, same episodes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that show, it, it has some semblance of continuity between episodes, but it is enough where every episode you can kind of stand on its own. You don't have to watch it in a particular order. The show that my dad liked watching, that I don't remember, that I started uh, watching recently was Cheers. 
I really liked uh, Ted Dance in, in Cheers and also the show that he did afterwards, which was Becca. And he kind of plays like a grumpy old man character, so it's kind of fitting. It's the same humor as Red Foreman. You think How I Met Your Mother and Big Bang Theory were favorites of yours? I watched all of How I Met Your Mother. I think they didn't stick the landing ultimately. I did enjoy it. But I think towards the end, there was a, definitely a little bit of fatigue with some of the themes. Damn it. Um, Big Bang Theory, I, I did check out, but I don't know, like... Later on, it kind of became this thing where... It felt really obvious that the laugh track was there. Like, the laugh track just suddenly started becoming very obvious. And usually with those shows, I, I can drown it out very easily. Like, I don't even pay attention that it's there, but... For some reason with that show, like, at, at a certain point, I was like, man... <laughs> They're just trying to be funny, and half of the time it would be. Then the other half, it was just, I would notice the laugh track. Shit! <laughs> Damn it. Um, and... I'm so close. I was trying to control it. Right. Obviously, not the ending of How I Met Your Mother and only the earliest series of Big Bang Theory. Well, I mean, it doesn't go without saying. Like, some people genuinely enjoyed all of the Big Bang Theory. Like, I have an aunt that was surprisingly really into it. You know, she's not into technology, but... She, uh, appreciated the show, I guess, I don't know. I haven't even checked out the uh, spin-off that they've done, like, How I Met Your Father. I feel like anything where they try to do that, just the same show but with a different angle, generally isn't good. It's like they're trying to relive the glory of what made the original great. Time and time again, it just it doesn't work. It's a whole new cast, and then it's kind of, you just see them as bootleg versions of the original cast. Like, okay, take that 70s show. They did a... a spin-off called That 80s Show with a completely different cast, and... yeah, that flopped really hard. There's, a, there's only been, historically, a few circumstances where spin-offs have worked. I think the most famous one is, um... The TV show Frasier was from a character from Cheers, so... That became its own... That became its own thing, and was successful at it. You're not fangirling over TV shows or anything. Oh, that's fair. I can admit I, I did enjoy watching The Big Bang Theory early on. Just... 
I can't tell you at what season, but there was definitely a moment where suddenly I realized, hmm. <laughs> Some of these jokes, they're not, they're not funny and the laugh track is becoming really obvious. It's like the episode of The Simpsons where Mr. Burns takes over TVs. And he has his own sitcom with uh, Smithers. And there's just a laugh after everything. That's, that's kind of what it felt like. In the show Community, one of the... Uh, one of the characters in that show gives a very good uh, description of how t the ideal TV show is basically six seasons in the movie. And anything beyond that, it's kind of... It starts becoming stale or it jumps the shark, so to speak. Like, you can probably tell- if you're gonna stretch something out, the story, six seasons is enough. And then anything after that, it starts becoming a bit repetitive. Especially if it's just a repeat of, like, a will-they-won't-they they type scenario. Why can't I get this? It's that last jump, like, I, I just... I need to watch it again, but I'm probably gonna watch the YouTube video on it. So I don't have to traverse back to that level. I'm not sure if I have to drop him down like these jumps, where I have to maintain Yoshi relatively stationary, so it's just a drop. Or if it needs to be on an angle. I remember a friend of yours watching the soap with her mom, Days of Our Lives. Oh, but that, yeah, they're a, they're a different story. Like, soaps, by design, they go on for years. They recycle characters, and suddenly it's just like, I thought you were dead. No, I faked my death. Because my evil twin <laughs> was trying to murder me. Frame me. Crazy shit like that. How do you manage to watch that for years and not kill yourself? I don't know. I, I have this... This theory... As to why people enjoy it. I think... It's, it's just got to do with the fact that, like... Sometimes at the end of the day... You know, if you have the same repetitive... ...kind of day every day... ...having something that's a little ridiculous, or watching people be literal human garbage... It's not that it, it keeps things interesting, it's just, at least it's entertaining. And it's kind of a way to unwind. Like, you know, a, a guilty pleasure of mine is, sometimes I'll throw on um, one of Gordon Ramsay's reality TV shows, just because, I guess with, with his shows, it's not just random drama, at least there's an end result where something gets made. And I just love seeing him call people out on their bullshit. Even if some of it might be, like, a bit canned, but it's still... It makes me laugh, and sometimes you, you need that, you know? So when it comes to soaps... 
I'll never really criticize someone for watching them, ever. But I'll definitely be like, well, nah, I'm not gonna watch this with you. It's just not for me. But I understand why you watch it. Like, I, I can- I can appreciate why. It's kind of the same with watching games on Twitch. There are some people that straight up say, why would anyone watch someone play a game on Twitch? It's like, well, it's entertainment at the end of the day. It's something that helps you relax, right? Like, to each their own. And you could say the same about sports. It's like, oh, why do people watch games on Twitch if they're not playing the games? Why do you watch sports if you're not out there on the field? Just let people enjoy the content they enjoy. You can definitely critique the content itself. But I don't think... I mean, there's very few... What? Okay. <laughs> there's very... Uh, there are a few exceptions where I'll be like, Hmm, yeah, that, that show... It's horrible. But in general, I'll be like, nah, it's fine. Like that new dating show where... I forget what it's called, it's on YouTube. Where there's a large button and then you can bail on the date just by pressing the button. Like... Yeah, that... That show... I don't know, I feel like that needs to go. <laughs> that's one of those shows that's the march towards uh, the end of society. Mind you, MTV used to have that kind of shit back in the day, but I think back then, those kind of shows, it was it was pretty obvious that the people that were in them were actors because they always had these one-liners and just cheesy sentences, right? So you could kind of disconnect that that was reality. Even though, you know, they were called reality TV shows, it was just, they were done in a way where it was pretty exaggerated in some ways, like, I'm sure some of these people were genuinely themselves, but they were definitely fed lines. You feel like it was more of a parody back then. It did feel like that at times. Whereas in... I don't know, some of, some of the stuff that I've seen lately... It's just people behaving like that in a more genuine looking fashion. Fuck! Oh, oh, I can't get this jump! Okay, I have to watch this again. I'm gonna freeze frame on the video, so hang on. Yeah, I'm, I'm so close. I'm so close. I just need to see, like, how, how it operates. Like, if it needs to be an angled one... It's an angled one. Okay, so it's an angled one. Right, so... That's why I'm not getting it, because I've been doing... Trying to go for the straight one. Okay, so I've got my marker. So I need to aim for the middle of the screen. Oh, sorry. Aim for the middle... Yeah, middle of the screen. Aim for the middle of the screen. That's all I gotta know. And then I'll catch him. Aim for the middle, and then hold right. And I should be able to catch him midair again. Okay. I just... I needed to see that again. But in a way where I could pause it and kind of... Um deduce it properly. Ah! Oh, yes! Got it! <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's all I needed, I just needed my marker, like... Where I needed to aim for, that was it. 
Okay. That was that was awesome. I've messed it up. Oh, okay. I see, I see. That is not easy. I need to I need to land higher. Higher up. <gasps> no, I had it! Oh I jumped off like an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there we go. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. I think I have to go early. Yep, there it is. Okay, it's, it's, it's like that. If I'm too high up, it throws me off it when it leaps, so I need to be on the rope, but not on... Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Land on the platform, trust that that thing's gonna move out of the way. Too low. Wait, what? How did it vanish last time? <laughs> Why do I keep landing on top of it like that? I don't get it. That time it disappeared again as well. There's got to be something that I'm doing. There we go. Oh. I might have to watch this one. Unless it's just, maybe I have to jump right away and blind jump it so that it starts sooner, that might be it. Sure. Can't be much left of this. But I have I have to jump. That's the answer, potentially. Like, just jump across quickly, jump back, and ride it. But, like, at its lowest point, so then you don't get hit. Shit. That was bad. I tried to jump over, it didn't work. Okay. 
I think I just straight up have to jump sooner. Alright, I'm watching it. I, I haven't made any real progress, so let's just see. Okay, so riding this part is correct. When you go, you jump. Okay. Let me say that again. Sorry, I'm just watching. Okay. I think up to that point, I, I can manage. It's a timing thing. to jump before that. But, but yeah, I gotta not grab the rope, but otherwise that was that was correct. better at this at least. Nearly. I keep getting faked out by the grey blocks. I feel like they're in the background, but they're not. I need to pay more attention. Dude. Oh, I needed to drop. Okay. I do appreciate that it lights up the one that you need to jump onto. after that. I didn't see which one lit up. Or do I have to just jump back on the rope at that point? Shit. Oh, 
I'm leaving it till too late. Ugh. Too early. I have to jump to the rope. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just testing. I like the section. The section's... It's not asking too much of me. Like, I seem to be making decent progress on this one. Didn't land correctly. Only a matter of time. I'll get it. Unfortunately, it's already been an hour, so time budget on this. <laughs> but whatever. It's fine. I'm having fun. That's the important part. Ah, oh, rude. Okay, I have to fall back on the rope. And then I would imagine jump again to the right. Wait, what? What? Ah, uh, step. I, I stepped and it shifted me up. I might have to watch that one. Let me just see. Thankfully, I have the video right at that point. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it really is that tricky. Okay. But we're almost at the end of the section, so that's that's nice. Shit. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. Perseverance. Apparently, yeah, I should just go for the fall. I thought maybe that would keep me safe for a little bit longer, but it doesn't. How did I not land on it? Too early. Unfortunately, the rope was still right next to that thing. Oh no! Oh no, I had made it! Oh. I panicked. I didn't think that was going to make it. Too early. That is that's so tricky. Okay. Okay. I guess I just have to trust that Mario is going to land on the platform at that point. What I need to do is I need to not fall too low, and that'll make that jump more comfortable. Too 
early. Ugh, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Was my platform? Uh, was on the wrong one anyway. That's probably why. Until that point, they've basically got it down to muscle memory. Like, it, they can reliably get up to that point constantly, which is good. Where did Mario go? What did he get crushed? <laughs> I think I clipped him between the two blocks. That didn't seem right. I, I did it again. I think he got pushed upwards. It's the only explanation. I think I need to wait even more. Like maybe until I'm right at the bottom, I don't know. I need to be more to the right. He keeps getting shifted upwards by the other platform.
What am I supposed to do? No, I have, I have to look at this jump. I need to see this. What, what do they do? From the very bottom. Oh. That's so deceiving, though. So, they kind of skip, they ignore it here, and then they just go as far forward as they can. Okay, that's a doozy. Yeah, that's, that's a little deceiving. Hang on. Let me bring Twitch chat back up. Because to me, it, it, the arrow is still on it when it comes down, so it looks like I have to catch it, but based on what I'm seeing, they skip it. Which, mm, that might be a... Maybe that's a more effective way of doing it, or it's an oversight, I'm not sure. more or less it. I think I just needed to jump right away before the ball comes crashing down on me. Stop doing that. Too eager. I just wanted to. I wanted to get ahead of it so then I could time the jump better. We're close. We're just one jump away from getting this area. I'm not sure if there's anything else after this. I can't believe this is the one that's messing me up the most. Everything else I have down, but it's just that one there that every now and then I'm just a little too to the left and just unfortunately it shifts me up. Even though I do land on the right platform, just the other one hit boxes, you know. Fart. It happens.
Oh, uh, wait. I, th I thought that was correct. getting baited. <laughs> I keep getting baited. I've nearly got this. Just final jump. I just have to nail the final jump. I get too eager. I'm, I'm trying to get there as early as possible to give me the timing, but it's messing me up. Close to getting this part done. Any attempt now, it's gonna happen. physics that they're so janky I just gotta trust that I've made it that's that's all there is to it and not try to readjust myself because a lot of the time I'm readjusting myself and there's no need it just magically works It's the skeleton platforms, they have weird hitboxes, so it just calls Mario to shift. That time I didn't make it.
That la that last jump is uh okay. How do they do it? Okay, so they jump. It's a I need to watch this again. This is very specific. And then I guess they wait for it to lower. So it's not right away. Which I thought it was. I thought it was try to beat the thing, but you just have to wait it out just enough. Janky this. I hate how janky this is. <laughs> it's just the shifting around of Mario when he's clearly not made it and then the skeleton platforms are like, no, what are you talking about? You made it. It's throwing me off so much. That jump, that jump is so ridiculous. <laughs> it's basically, it's a perfect jump. You have to do it at the last possible second. I need, I need a second. Give me a second. <laughs> I need to drink some water. I have to land on the left one, and that's how you go in, because the right one's going to be too low. 
You need to walk across and press up. Alright, alright. Alright. Skeleton platforms. The one time I want them to shift me up, they don't. At the very end there. Oh, I fell asleep at the wheel. Did a little too much. Dude, this um, I'm imminent on getting this. This is going to happen. So close. One more jump. This is that final jump. I'm faking myself out now. This is bad. <laughs> Focus!
at the point now where I'm starting to forget what I've done. <laughs> What fresh shell is this? Okay, it's done. <laughs> done. Ugh. All right, so that took a little longer than I thought it would, but still on par. And that is Star Road completed. Okay, we're up to Bowser's Castle, final, final stage. I'm just gonna go save real quick. Slash... Oh, I got lives, okay. Get upgrade, you know. Oh, man. Fun stage, but took quite a bit of effort. thinking, do I need capes? Anyway. Bowser's Castle. Which door to go through? I reckon number one was the answer. not to hesitate too much. It might be a good idea to go get a cape. Thankfully there is one nearby, I don't have to go that far away. It's just in the stage here. I think the cape will make it a bit easier. Like, I know it's a bit of back and forth, but... Where would I be without my crutch? Anyway. Probably shouldn't chase that boomerang and <laughs> just let it die off. Oh god. Okay, I don't want that. Okay. Okay, maybe I want it now. 
something but magic or something. Okay. Oh, come on, I thought. Okay, this was an interesting thing. This was a cool mechanic, I thought. I don't think it gives you a checkpoint after each little section. I think I have to do the whole thing again. Fairly certain. I did a bit of the stage um, once to take a break from one of the more tedious stages. So that's why I know. Those two passageways in particular. Dead again. No. Ah, oh, you idiot. <laughs> Finger slipped. I hope the stage isn't super long. But I, I do want to finish this tonight. That would be great if I could get through this tonight. Let it go. Otherwise, that's going to keep punting me. I'm gonna wait for, yeah. You. Ha ha. Oh! You know, it doesn't, I don't have to take both upgrades. I feel like a fool. I'm going back. Really? Of, of all the places he could randomly appear. 
just directly on top of where I've, I'm going to land. That's, that's great. doesn't matter what I take in with me because it's going to convert over to mushroom anyway. my friend. Okay, checkpoint. Beautiful. Oh, we're up to the pain segment of the stage. I mean, the way the previous doors worked was like order of difficulty. Whoa, 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 what is this? Fast cloud, flex X or Y to move even faster. Oh, I, I hate this. Why would you want to move even faster? <laughs> I, I, I got the answer to that. No, what? Hi! Oh dude, this is this is this is like Battle Toads. <laughs> this is Battle Toads right here. Okay, so that's door. I'm gonna check out all the doors. I think that's probably a good idea. That is straight up like a Battle Toads level right there. So that was four. Let's try five. What? God. Oh, so survival? 
That one might be easier. I think that's probably the easiest one so far. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell on first impression. Try door number six now. I'm leaning towards five at the moment. Ah, yes! Oh, this is... Yeah, uh, I don't... I don't like this one. Uh, probably door number five it is. Off. I missed it. Oh my god. Okay, it has very specific spots to hide in. But I think this is this is something that's doable. Like I can deal with memorization. Whereas in the other stuff is it just seems like the last door goes out of its way to be annoying. But the first door is cool, but I don't feel like doing something that feels like it's Battletoads. <laughs> I don't mind the first door, it's just... Too much... Yeah, so how do I... Okay, you just, you can, I can jump over it. I'm an idiot. Okay, here. I thought I got there on time, but I, I guess not. I, I had this right. Why? Why am I messing this up? This is cursed. Oh, boy! Uh. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I wonder how insane that's gonna get. You would think no more than two. like that one. Uh, 
Or this one. Like, I, I, I couldn't see a clear spot for that one. Okay, I see. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> worst comes to worst, I can resort to a play-by-play. -play. It's really that annoying. I think it should be fine. I think I can pause buffer it to kinda give myself time as well. It might be worth doing. This one sucks. I think this one is really stupid. It's way too precise. Even when I was small, if I was off by even just a pixel, I, I was dead. I guess I can always change my mind if it's that annoying. Dude. I was, I was right on it. Like, what the fuck? And then there's this one here. Okay, I... Maybe there's another way that I'm not seeing. I don't see another- I don't see another gap anywhere. This one was here. Maybe I should try- I should see if there's one on the far right. Maybe that one might be a bit easier to line up than the one on the left. Oh no, that works. That works. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do that one. Just relentless. I feel like I'm gonna have to damage boost my way through this.
Oh, something just occurred to me. I wonder if I can bring a cape in here. That would make the jumps that would make the jumps a lot easier. I could have more airtime and they'd be way easier to execute. I don't know how I did that last time, but whatever. Poison again. We got left ball this time. Oh no, it's sinking. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it, please. Just let me have this. Oh, it's roulette. Oh, oh, dude, I, I need a minute. That was some platforming right there. Okay. Um. Sure. Oh, that made my hands so tired. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even care, like... Shit. Wait, what? Why? 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 This feels like appropriate to Bowser's Castle, that set of stuff. Wow. 
What the... Okay. That's, that's difficult, but okay, I get it. Alright, so that was, I mean, I don't, like, it's random, I don't get to pick it. Keep quiet in the library, do not romp around on the floor. If you make a noise here, the patrol will come stop you. Interesting. I'm not sure which is the one that I'd prefer to do, but I guess I don't really have a choice, kind of. Probably not this one. This one seems more tedious than the others. I'm, I'm not doing well. You know what I might do just for just for good measure? It's just I'm gonna go save it. Just to make sure that uh yeah, nothing horrible happens. And make sure this hard work doesn't go to waste. As well, since I'm here. Don't want door number nine. That's the one I have to not get. No, I know. Anything but door number nine. Giving me door number nine. I'm just, I'm just gonna die. Like I, I, I don't like this one. Okay, 
Okay, seven. I don't mind seven. Seven seems cool. Evidently you can't. I thought you could shoot that, but no. This is another one where positioning is important, I guess. I think door number eight seemed like the good door for me. <sighs> Keep getting this door. It's just enemy spam, it's not my idea of fun. Oh. Wow, okay. Yeah, no thank you. This, this door sucks. Oh no, this one, cool. I don't mind this one. This one seems like the most manageable one, at least. It doesn't punish you immediately, which I like. momentum kind of knocks you ah oh, that was stupid of me <laughs> stop it stop giving me down number nine how many how many times have i landed on it this isn't fun Look at this, even, even this. Yeah. Well designed. Not clunky at all. Look, I can't even hit the switch properly. I don't like this section. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose it. I, I keep rolling the stupid door and I hate it. Ugh, I'm, I'm not in the mood for this. Any other door. It's a one in three chance that I get that door, and I keep getting it. <laughs> Am I having a stroke? I'm just, I'm just gonna die. I, I'm sorry. I, I know I, I'm complaining a lot, but truly, I don't like these kind of stages. Uh, just give me any of the other two, and I'll be glad to do that. Them. I'm just gonna close my eyes. Right, that was me closing my eyes. 
That was me closing my eyes. And I still get door number nine. How's this possible? Okay, I'm closing my eyes again. Not looking. Okay. Thank you. This one at least feels fair. Oh, I don't need to spin jump on the bottom one. This one I do, but the bottom one don't have to. I still think this is the lesser of the evils, you know? Still love that opinion. Climb. This is climb, All right? We climb now. But look how much progress I've made in this one compared to the other, honestly. Your time. You're not being timed here. If it doesn't feel right, don't go for it. This one is hard, this part. No, hang on, maybe I'm over- I think I might be overcomplicating it. I'm trying to get this in one jump, but I think that is the way you have to do it, unfortunately. Yeah, there we go. It's just very tight timing. Take your time. No need to rush. Wait for the door to come to you. Oh, what now? Up. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm creating a platform for myself, and then I have to... Um... Okay, here's the annoying part. I have to go through everything again. Yep, cool. Closing my eyes. Hmm... Okay, got it. Got it again. Game, please. Thank you. No! Uh. Okay. Crap. 
Christmas miracle I have. Ah! <laughs> oh, my heart. Stop it! <laughs> oh, I was doing so well with that one. I couldn't squeeze in. Closing eyes. It's amazing. I haven't gotten number nine once ever since I started closing my eyes. But you can kill those things, right? That's nice to know. I think this is the easiest one. I think that one's the easiest one. That one I did not struggle with at all. It has its challenges, but for the most part, it, it's fine. Okay, good. This is the mistake I made last time, I didn't do that. Oh ho ho ho, you dick. Sneaky. Definitely feels like when you're approaching Bowser and it just does fireball stuff. So I mean, it's, it's on theme. Something's about to happen. Ah! Ugh. Damn it! That's not fair. There's no way I would have known that was about to happen. Closing eyes. Well, I mean, look, this was bound to happen. I'm just going to die. Let's face it. This is the quicker way. Any of the other two doors I'm happy with. This one, not a chance. Closing eyes. I think if I'm not conscious of me trying to get the others, then I'll I'll do better. What? What do you mean? Why did I take damage? What what hit me? That's cool, I guess. <sighs> uh. <laughs> it's 
definitely the right approach, just leaving it to chance and not looking. Because then it, it's truly random. This momentum, this momentum is so annoying. I know, I know, I, I still prefer it, but it's, it's not easy to do it. I need to, I need to be on the other side. Oh, that is, that is garbage. <laughs> I don't know how I did it last time. Okay, there we go. This one's a tiring one. So, ah, damn it. eyes. Dude, can... I've gotten this door way too many times. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I just don't like it, like, it, it just... That's one of these things that just punishes the player for existing, and yeah. It's just... just stack as much enemies and stuff and obstacles as possible. Okay, good, we got this one. Take the L, it's fine. I fell. That was unfortunate. that 
jump. I have to overcompensate for it. too much, I should have just gone. Fuck you. Wait. What? Huh? You didn't, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Okay, cool. Nice, nice soft lock. Such a marathon. Okay. Checkpoint. This looks like a finale. Checkpoint. Alright, we're here. This is not going to be a normal fight, is it? It's going to fake me out. There is no way this is just... After all this, there is no way this is just a vanilla fight. Come on. Get fucked. There's no way this is- no, this is not the vanilla fight. Already. It's similar, but not quite the same. The, his patterns have been adjusted, so it's- it's definitely different. This takes me back. Oh, you dick. Eat the dick. Oh, they jump. They jump as well. <laughs> I'm going to go save. Because we've we've gotten through the pain, and now we're at we're home stretch.
I don't think capes are going to help in the slightest here. This is just a case of... Just do it. I love the fake out though. I really did for a sec think it was the the original vanilla fight. So I look forward to seeing just what else they've done to this. This dude. Gotcha. That's probably the best time to get him is when he's throwing his uh they call just mech Cooper. <sighs> yeah, that that jumping that they do it <laughs> sure is annoying. That's such a simple way to make the fight so much more difficult. Like, it has to be a... Grab them immediately or they're just gonna be a nightmare. It looks like the right-hand side is unsafe completely. Grab it. Got him. Yeah, this side here, just... No... No good. What's messing with me right now is just childhood memories of what this fight is. It's really messing with me. I keep falling. I keep falling for it. I keep falling for it. Okay, got him. Stop jumping. <laughs> what did they change? Ah, it's fast. Peach, please. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know what he's about to do. Okay, it's the same. It's the same. No, it's not! <laughs> you dick. <laughs> oh, that is so rude. <laughs> okay. It's never the same. It's not going to be the same fight. If it looks like it's the same, there's something that's going to happen at the last second. Yeah, 
it looks like I have to do this in one shot. Which, fair enough, I mean... I'm not expecting a checkpoint for this fight. Take a hit. <laughs> Dude, what are the, what are these movement patterns? Are they random? I, I haven't been able to figure out like what he's doing. Too far. Okay, this one's not too bad. Afraid of what the last stage is gonna be. Stop jumping, please. It's much lower. It's much quicker and it's much lower. Hold. Go. Be quick. Got him. I need to remember to slide. Nearly. I'm going to laugh if there's a fourth phase like they've programmed that in just because they're maniacs. I'm not really sure how this first phase is movements work. It's really hard. Like, I, I haven't been able to figure it out. Got ya. Yeah, like, like that, like that is such bullshit. Missed my chance. Okay, got him. 
Go away, Koopaling. stuff. Oh, that almost cost me. Phase three. Speed though. Wait, what, do you, what? What? What do you mean the other one? Oh, this is cursed, dude. He, do, he doesn't give me a window. That's. That's. That's not fair. Why does it do that? Is that, a, is that a glitch or is that intentional? <laughs> okay. I guess go to the left. Uh, something else. I'm doing my best to try and predict it. Thankfully, phase one is just, uh, yeah, just two hits.
That was going to pinch me. I was kind of in an awkward spot and couldn't really. to be to the left of him. Wow, this, this phase is fucked. <laughs> it's, I have to grab the mech Cooper right away. Otherwise, 100% I'm taking a hit. The problem is he's on my ass just instantly. And I, I have no wiggle room. And when I jump, he jumps. Almost got through it. I'm doing so badly here. How, how do I keep missing this? It's not that hard. <sighs> there we go.
Ah, okay. Bring it. <sighs> so quick. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. I don't like that it's forcing me to go to the left. Like, I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's a bug where... One of the ones that he throws gets destroyed. But... It kind of makes it untenable, because... You have to put yourself in a position where you're on the left. If not, then you're gonna take a hit. Oh, come on, really? I almost feel like starting again. These erratic movement. I, I I still haven't been able to figure out what movement pattern he has here. It just seems like every now and then he's gonna sweep the edges, but I can't tell when he's gonna do that. Simple change of making the Mech Coopers jump. It's quite a big deal. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna take a hit here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm annoyed by it. But kind of in a good way, it's just, it's taking a childhood fight and adding a new spin to it, but it's just, ugh. Bowser's being a dick. This first phase, I don't like. The other phases, they're fine. I can deal with it, but just these erratic motions are doing my head in. Because from- it's just- it's killing my childhood. <laughs> I'm expecting him to move in a particular way and he doesn't. It's messing with me so much.
I was trying to go for two hits right away. This might be problematic. Keep him on this side. This is the only way I can do it. Got him. Okay. Again. You have to keep him on this half of the map. That's... That's the meta. How's this not it? Okay. Okay. Unless there's a fourth phase that they've added, we're good. Mario's adventure is over! Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. Alright, so that's still the same. Fireworks? Yeah, it's still the same. Oh, Okay. Unless there's anything further or shock surprises. That's janked up Mario Party. Finally finished it after all these years. It was kind of sad when I lost my save file, but there we go. Enough time has passed that I got it done. Oh, different music. So, yeah, I mean, the credits are going to be different because this is a community project with a bunch of level editors, level designers, ROM hackers, etc, etc. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. There are a few stages that lean towards the side of Kaizo that I don't enjoy, but I got through them in the end and generally it's fine. Okay, that's good. This wraps up the final difficult thing that I'm doing. I don't count Zelda 2. Zelda 2 seems to be okay. Uh, it might get harder, but... I can't see it getting any harder than this. <laughs> Certain stages took me multiple hours. Uh, but yeah. If this interests you, you should give it a go. 
It's not as bad as you would think, and I'm not a Kaizo player, and I managed to get through it. So, you two can live the dream and have your hands hurt like a motherfucker at the end of this. Ugh. But yeah, uh, I mean, there's other ROM hacks around that I've heard are decent, but I don't think I'll be checking anything out anytime soon. But if you do want me to check out a ROM hack in particular, and you're on YouTube, put a comment and uh, I'll consider it. It lets me know. Wait, what? Baby, you can tell me on. <laughs> what? Probably an inside joke. Um, yeah, you know, that stuff. I, I have to keep saying it, but, uh, yeah. Doing all that stuff on YouTube really does help if you want to support the stuff I do. But either way, if you're here for the playthrough or have been watching this, appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. And, yeah, supporting the content I do. I appreciate it a lot. I'm glad they've left left us as is. And now this is. Oh, did they keep these the same? Because the thing is that there were all these new enemies in it, so I doubt they've changed this. This always felt like such a big achievement when I was a kid, just getting this done. Also, charge and chuck colors are different. Just getting through and beating this, just... I don't know, that scene at the end, the, the amount of nostalgia it brings me. makes me happy seeing it. Wait, Dino Torch? That's what that thing's called? Dino Rhino. <laughs> Blarg. The greatest names for an enemy. Torpedo Ted? I don't remember that's what they were called. Torpedo Ted? Okay. I like that the urchin has nothing. It's just- it's an urchin. Nothing special. Couldn't really think of anything creative. It's just an urchin. Nothing else. I love the roll credits music in this, and I also love them in Super Mario Bros. 3. Look everyone, it's Trent Reznor. Wait, has the music ended here early? <laughs> Is it something... I guess it's been edited, so... Maybe the credits went on for a bit longer. I can't do a Mario voice, but you know, thank you for playing my game. Um... Wait. Oh yeah. This is still in the era where once a game ends, they don't make it reset. It's just on the screen forever. Um. I guess let me press this. On the console. Yep, there it is. Two stars. We're done. Alright, and that wraps up janked up Mario Party. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I know I did.
<sighs> okay, and this is where we leave the stream for tonight. It's one in the morning. I'm gonna go get some rest, but appreciate you all for hanging out. <laughs>